Did you know that coaches of all kinds are needed now more than ever before? Hi, I'm Pam Peebles, but my clients call me Coach Pam. I'm the founder and the head coach at Freedom Coaching Academy for women. I've been in the coaching game for over 30 years, and during that time, I've helped thousands of women build, launch, and scale their businesses to six, seven, and even eight-figure coaching empires. If you want to make an amazing income, live anywhere you want in the world, all while impacting lives, then you're in the right place because I'll show you how to make it happen. This is Scale to 7 with me, Coach Pam. So, hey there, welcome to Scale to 7 with Coach Pam. Listen, I have really been waiting to share this segment with you guys. Because I've been thinking, what is the best way to kick off my very first episode? Well, let's talk about money, y'all. Listen, I want to talk to you guys about how you can make six figures with a group coaching program. Now, the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because for many, many years, many, many, many years, I have been in the coaching game and I primarily did one-on-one coaching. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing one-on-one coaching, but it has so many limitations. For one, depending upon how much income you want to make, there's going to definitely be restrictions on your time because if you have 20 clients a month, for example, you're basically doing five clients a week. So it's a lot. Mentally, my coaching practice, my clients had full access to me. So if they text me, they had a question, They were able to get in touch with me. It wasn't really, it was great for them. But for me, even though I loved it, I really needed more of my time. Now, the other thing is too, is that let's talk about the money part of it. And we'll get into that more later. But the money part of it is you're going to be restricted, right? I don't care. I mean, unless you want to do a client an hour, there's no way for you to really scale to seven figures, right? So the best way to be able to generate six figures in your coaching business quickly is to do group coaching. All right. So let me tell you guys a little bit about what group coaching is. You probably already know that if you're a coach, but I'm just going to share it with you anyway, just in case. Group coaching means instead of doing one-on-one coaching, you do one to many. Means that you can have your program open up and you can have as many as two or three people in at one time or two or three hundred. It really depends upon what type of program you have. But for the most part, group coaching is usually used in smaller group settings, okay? And this way, you have the ability to have a focused community. You have a bunch of people working on the same goal. But there are some programs, some of them call them masterminds, where they have hundreds of people in it and they do group coaching with them. So For the purpose of what we're discussing for you to make six figures with a group coaching program, we're talking about a small group, all right? Group coaching is totally different from the traditional one-on-one coaching in that we have to really focus on making sure that we're going to get transformation for everybody that's in group, right? With one-on-one clients, I mean, it's totally different because you can make adjustments to their marketing, to their strategy that's specific to them. Well, with group coaching, we can't do that, right? We got to know what our strategy is going to be. We got to know all of these things up front so that we can make sure everyone who comes into our program has the same level of success. An example for um, a group coaching program or a niche that might really do well with a group coaching program is like maybe weight loss, right? You can have someone who wants to lose weight. They want to get access to diet plans, exercise tips, things of that nature, and they want the support. That's great for group coaching, right? Because it's been proven already to be highly effective, right? Now, another thing is what I do as a business coach, right? I do group coaching programs now exclusively. And it's really good, especially for startups, new coaches who are just getting started, which is primarily my niche, because it gives me the ability to put them all together. They can learn from each other. They can grow together. They can build relationships. They can network. All of the above. Most of them are at the same level. Some might be a little bit more advanced, but for the most part, they're all at the same level. It allows me to leverage my expertise and leverage my time and also for them to have a more beneficial experience. Okay. Now, let's talk about the benefits, some of the major benefits. Of course, as I just mentioned, it's leveraging time, right? 
when we're doing group coaching programs, let me tell you guys how this works out. Before, this is what my schedule would look like. It was insane. So before, my schedule could be that I have back-to-back coaching calls every single day, Monday through Thursday, because I take, take off from Friday, still do. But Monday through Thursday, my schedule would just be packed. Sometimes so much that I didn't even have a chance to eat lunch, which is insane. Now, I work from home. And as crazy as it sounds, I would be in my office all day, like didn't even have time to go take a pee break. It was just insane. Now, the difference between me having my group coaching programs now is that I prepped for my sessions with my group, but all of it is already prepared. We have it mapped out in advance. So I come into live coaching sessions. I might spend two, three hours. But that's about it. And that is really to make sure that my clients are getting the results, right? That is to make sure that I'm doing the follow-up, that I'm doing the answering any questions, to make sure that they are on point and that there are, nothing is unclear. I want to make sure that they have full clarity, that they're taking action. And we have an accountability coach. She does that as well. But the biggest thing is, is that versus doing four to five hours a day, I'm now doing four to five hours a week with the same amount of money coming in. So that is one of the biggest thing is leveraging your time. And it, especially if you're a newer coach, it's really good because you actually have other people in the community who will support your clients, right? They're cheering each other on, they're rooting for each other. It's really a dope concept. Now, let's talk about the different things that also come with it. One of them is gonna be increased income, right? That's just a given. So again, you can run one group coaching program, and I'm going to talk about some different ways you can price it. But for the most part, you can bring more people into your program and run several programs at a time if you wanted to. But the the benefit is, is that instead of having like five clients in one day where maybe, I don't know what the going rate per hour is for coaching right now, but I'm just going to say $100. If that would give you $500 a day, you're doing that times a week, you're making $2,500, you're making 10 grand a month. Well, if you have a group coaching program, you can put 10 people into your program at $1,000 and that would give you $10,000 per month, right? So it's a lot of different ways to leverage it because then you're looking to get a lot of people into the program, right? Maybe not make as much of an impact. Then there are also you have the ability to upsell additional services. When they come into your program, obviously, you are going to teach them something. The goal is for them to get one major transformation, right? One major transformation. For our program, the goal is for the coach to leave. We have a 12-week program, and the goal is for the coach to leave after 12 weeks, making 10K a month or more, all right? So that is the one major transformation that we focus on in our 12-week program. Now, of course, one of the things that you can do to continue to grow your income and make sure that your business continues to thrive is you have additional programs that you put people into down the road after they go through your initial program. The first program that they come into, right, this is going to be your signature program. And then you may have a mastermind or something else that you can put them into some type of additional program after they finish with that initial service. So that is the easiest way to build your program. Honestly, you could build it up to seven figures, but we're just talking about six figures now. (laughs) So let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? Now, the pricing strategies really is going to be based upon the value that you provide and how you can help them achieve whatever their goals are. So think for a moment, I mentioned earlier that you could do a lower tier program, right? And that seems to be pretty prevalent right now in the industry where people are doing $7, $27, $47 memberships, but they're not getting any access to the coach, right? It's just really a course is really what it is. It's a course and there is no accountability, no one checking up on them, no one making sure that they're doing the work, no one's doing anything. They're in the course for the lowest amount possible. And I'm not saying that the stuff is not good, right? That's not, what I'm getting at, because it could be really great information, but you don't know whether or not the client is really going to have transformation because you're not there. So you don't have a clue whether or not they're even logging in. You don't have a clue whether or not they're finishing the sessions. You don't know what they're doing, right? So for me, that doesn't work because I want to make an impact. I want 
to see my clients get success. And the only way for me to do that is to be involved with what they're doing. I have to be involved in the process. Okay. But again, that is just one way to do it. You can definitely set your program up where you maybe do one call a month or you can even do one call a week. But that's going to determine the price and model, right? That's going to determine because it's going to be based on how much value you actually give. Okay. And, and then access, all right? Because really coaching is all about paying for access. So we want to make sure that we are giving them all of the tools and resources they need and delivering it to them in the way that's going to give them the best results. So for me, that includes weekly coaching sessions, weekly mindset sessions that we give to our clients because we want to make sure their mind is right. Listen, you can't generate six figures or seven figures a year and your mind is all jacked up, right? So we have to make sure that we're, we're covering that piece of the mindset and then also that we're giving them that millionaire mentoring and that we're giving them the tools and information and all of the tips that they need to actually implement it and get results. Price point. I'll give you an example. Our 12-week program is $12.97, and we also give them a discount if they pay in full, which means that they get it for $9.97. Similar programs may be as much as $24.97 or even $3,500. There is no right or wrong as far as the price point. It all depends on what your goal is. What is your objective? How many people do you want to bring into your program? How much do you want to make on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, on a yearly basis? Will you use this program as a feeder program to put them into something else that's going to allow you to make more money? So we think about all of those things up front. For us, we thought about all of those things up front when we created this program because we wanted to have an impact on new coaches and make sure that they got the right training, the correct training, so that not only could they become a coach, but that they can actually make some money. Because I see so many coaches out here, they're struggling. Let's just keep it real. They're struggling. They're not making any money. They, they don't know how to get clients. They don't know how to do anything. But a lot of them are getting certified. Don't even start me on that one. But a lot of them are getting certified. I don't know. They're certified, but don't have clients or never had clients, which is really interesting to me. But that's another story, another day. What I really wanted to do is be able to work with the newer coaches who come in, show them how to be a coach, how to get the transformation, and then also how to monetize their passion. Because again, so many of them are barely making any money. Okay. Now, another thing that a group coaching program will allow you to do is to diversify your income. Because realistically, you can do multiple strains just within the same group coaching program. I have clients who have set up group coaching programs and they've set up different tiers where one tier may be $97 a month. Another tier might be $197 a month. And the difference between the two is they're getting more access. And then, of course, as I mentioned, there's going to be the courses where it's pretty much self-paced. No one's following up with them or doing anything. And then you can also have a group coaching program like I have done before where you give some type of one-on-one -on -one access. In that particular program, all of the coaching was group coaching, except for once a month, they got a 30-minute one-on-one coaching session. That allowed me to provide them with more detailed, specific, targeted um, strategy for their business, right? Versus the, the group coaching sessions, which was uh, a little bit more about what everyone should be doing. This way, they got an opportunity to do one-on-one -on -one with me once a month. And we would go over their strategy, look at whatever it is they had and they needed help with. And it's just one of a few different ways that you can diversify your income. And then it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can do multiple different versions of your program simultaneously. So this is how we're going to get you to six figures with a group coaching program. Now, let's talk about just some of the benefits. And I'm talking about from the perspective of the client, because most of the time people think, oh, if I get into group coaching, I'm not going to have access. You know, I, I really need someone one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I don't take on a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients anymore. As a matter of fact, my roster is completely full when it comes to one-on-one -on -one clients. It is not cheap to work with me. I am definitely the best that's out there, but I'm not the cheapest that's out there. So one of the things that I like to tell clients up front when they mention that, oh, I need one-on-one -on -one coaching is like, you know, you can get most of the stuff, especially for a brand new coach in a group coaching program. Because for like the program that we run, we give them access. They get access to coaches in a group. We have a Facebook group that we run. We have a chat that we run. And so they get access to us. But 
With one-on-one clients, of course, they get direct access to me. I get how someone could think, okay, well, you know, I'd rather do that. But then you think about it, you may end up paying three times as much for a one-on-one coach on a monthly basis than it would cost you to get 12 weeks in the same program, okay? But when you go into a group coaching program or you're running a group coaching program, I would say that the best combination is a combination of doing it where they're going through the content on their own. So you want to have a content area where it's self-paced, they can go through the course, and then also offer some type of group component where you come in once a week and you either do office hours, Q&A session, accountability, something. And that's going to be, in my opinion, the best combination of the two is to make sure that your clients are actually getting some type of access to expertise. And that way they can benefit from the collective experience of the clients that's in the group so that it would be their fellow group members and then also the coach, which would be you or me. In my opinion, that's going to be the best way to set your program up. Now, let's talk about some different perspectives and how the group members can actually help come to solutions. So one of the things that we do with one of my masterminds is we do hot seat. If you've never been in a hot seat before, you don't know anything about hot seats, let me kind of tell you what goes on. So in the hot seat, what happens is a client who, I guess they nominate themselves or we nominate them, right? We nominate them or they'll nominate themselves. But a client comes to the table and they have a pressing issue, right? And this is an issue that they they don't just want feedback from me or our other coach, right? They don't want feedback from us. They want feedback from the other coaches in the community, right? So they don't just want like this singular, oh, what does Coach Pam think? No, they don't want that. They want to know what everyone thinks. and so. This is really great because we have so many different types of coaches in our community, a variety of expertise, so many backgrounds that it really is helpful because now they're getting different types of suggestions. They're getting different types of, you should do this. So it really helps because now instead of just getting my one point of view, they're actually going to get it from multiple people. And we see so much result from that because now you've got a lot of people who are invested in this client's success versus just little me. And the other thing about it is with group coaching programs, they're getting not just support from you as a coach, but they're getting support from their community and they're building a community. And I've seen so many programs and had so many programs where the clients build their own relationships. And it gives them a sense of belonging and they can experience all of this together as they're going through the process of building their coaching empires. So for me, it's a win-win. It is the best thing that the clients can get. And then also it is the best thing for me because now I'm able to leverage my time a whole lot better than when I was just working one-on-one with clients. Okay. Now, The last thing, and I just touched on this a second ago, is they get to build long-lasting relationships. One of the first things we do is at the beginning of our programs, when we launch our programs, we do a kickoff session, right? That's when we get everybody on. They introduce themselves. They give a little bit of detail about who they are, what they do, if they haven't already done that in our Facebook group, right? But a lot of these turn into lifelong relationships. In our most recent mastermind that we had, We have clients who are visiting each other out of the country, going on trips together, going to Beyonce concert, going to Mexico, just so many different things because they're building friendships with their fellow group members. So it's really important that you look at, you know, what are the pros and the cons? To be totally honest with you, if you set it up correctly, you set it up right, there are no cons whatsoever. There are no cons, only benefits, only pros, no cons. Now let's talk a little bit about the money because I love to talk about money. One of the things that I do is I like to look at the end. What is the end goal? And then we work our way back. So I want you to think about it from the perspective of if your goal is to make six figures for the year. So at minimum, we're talking a hundred grand. Let's just go with that number because, you know, it's, or let's go with 120 because that's easy, right? And I don't have to get out a calculator. Okay, let's say that's your initial goal. Don't get greedy, right? Let's stay with the initial goal. And that is 120K. 
So $120,000 comes out to $10,000 per month. How do we get to that number? How do we hit that revenue goal? Well, that's where we start looking at the breakdown of what our program is going to cost. How much will we charge to bring people into the program? So, for example, let's say that your group coaching program, you know, just let's say for shits and giggles, it's going to be for four weeks. So if it's four weeks, let's say that the price is it's an intensive, it's $2,000. So that means in order to hit that 10K revenue goal per month, you would need to bring five people into your program every single month. And that needs to be on a rolling basis in order to be able to make $10,000 a month consistently. Now, let's break it down in a different way. So let's say that you have a program that goes for three months. Let's say that program is a 12-week program, but it's an evergreen program. So how would you fill that program? Well, let's say the program is $1,000, right? Well, that still means that even though it's a 12-week program, if it's evergreen, it, and, and y'all know what evergreen means, right? I'll explain it in a second. But if it's evergreen, that means that clients can come in at any time. It just means it's a revolving door. That's what evergreen means. It means that there is not different cohorts. It means that you're not doing a launch every four weeks or every 12 weeks. It means that you are consistently marketing and you're accepting people into your program on a continuous basis. So that's what evergreen means. So if we have an evergreen program and that program is $1,000, it means that we have to bring in 10 people a month right? Because our numbers are not changing. Now, the way we bring them in, the way we market, the way that we put people into the program, and even the way that we coach is definitely going to be different. If you have 10 people in a program where the fee is $1,000, that's their investment versus having five people in with a $2,000 investment fee, okay? So we just have to, again, look at what's going to work best for us and also look what's going to, go, going to work best long term, right? We, the biggest thing is I want you guys to be able to set up a program that will last you through the ages. So you want to make sure that you're able to keep up, right, with the program and that you don't try and overdo it, do too much, you know, kind of go ham out there. All right. But that's how you calculate how much revenue you can make. You start at the end, what is your revenue goal? And then come back and say, how many clients do I need in order to meet this revenue goal for six figures on a monthly basis? Because it's going to be determined by your pricing structure. That's a very simple way to reach your goals. Now, I'll give you guys a whole nother equation, but I don't want to like confuse anyone and spend too much time. But the other thing that we have to do is then we have to figure out, okay, so if I'm trying to bring in 10 clients per month, how many people do I need to talk to in order to get those 10 clients? This is where it becomes a lot of fun. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't do strategy sessions or strategy calls for people coming into the group program. Okay, I only do that if I'm bringing in a one-on-one -on -one client or they're coming into my mastermind. Let's just say you're a newer coach and you are doing strategy calls. So the question becomes, how many people do you have to talk to in order to get those 10 people who are going to actually sign up with you? You need to know that number because that's going to determine how many people you have to get in front of in order to get your 10 people. So let's say right now your closing ratio is really low or you don't have a closing ratio. Let's just say it's 10%. So that means out of every 10 people, only one person will sign up. So that means in order to get your 10 people for the program, you would have to talk to 100 people. So that's how we kind of do those raw numbers and figure out because uh, everything's a numbers game. We have to know how many people you're talking to to determine how many people you're going to be able to close. So right now, without knowing exactly what it is that your closing rate would be, then we're going to assume that it's low and it's just going to be 10%. That is how you figure out your income. We want to make sure that we know that up front so that even as we're pricing it, we have an idea of what we're going to be able to earn for the year. Now, as far as pricing strategies, as I mentioned, there's no right or wrong way, but there are different ways. So one of them could be a tiered pricing, meaning I did a program where we brought people in. We had three different tiers, was it four different tiers that they came in on. The earlier they came in, the less expensive the tier was. So that means that they, some people got in for $5,000, some people got in for $7,500. Ultimately, doing it that way brought in two hundred and I think $32,000, $237,000, somewhere either two thirty two dollars or $237,000 in 28 days. 
And it was because there was a sense of urgency because everyone wanted to get in on that tiered pricing. We did tremendous amount of sales, double digits, 200, over $200,000 in sales. All right. Now, another way that you can price your program is early bird discounts. Very similar to tier pricing, but what this does is it's a set price, right? If you come into my program before the end of the month, it's going to be $9.97. If you come in after the end of the month, it's going to be $14.97, right? But what this also does is it creates that sense of urgency and it gets people, you know, taking action right? Because who doesn't want a discount, especially if it's a significant discount. You really want to get some people into your program. Let me tell you, price your program at $19.97 and offer it at $9.97 for early bird discount. And I promise you, you'll, if you have an audience, you'll be able to sell that program. Now, the last one is value pricing, and that's going to be based on the value. And again, we talked about this a little earlier, but that is pretty much where we're pricing it based upon how much access the, the clients are going to get to us. So we, we want to make sure that we're not trying to charge somebody $5,000 for them to go through a course training and get zero access to us. We, we want to make sure that we're pricing it in a way that not only are we generating revenue for ourselves and business, but that we're also being fair and that we're there to give the client the transformation that they want. Now, do not get me wrong. Some clients like to do it themselves. They don't want anyone hovering over them. I mean, it goes both ways. You just have to figure out what is going to be, what's going to work best for you and what's going to be best for your niche audience. All right. Now, another thing that you can do is you can always, to increase your revenue, you can um, offer premium add-on services, right? So this would be like for a health and nutrition coach. You can add on some one-on-one -on -one accountability. I have a coach who actually goes out and works out with their clients, right? It's you know, a little bit more time intensive for them, but they love doing it. So they do it, but that increases their revenue per client, right? Um, it also restricts them because she's only able to work with clients who are near her for that part of the program. Now, <clears throat> so now that you kind of know how group coaching works, you know, all of the benefits, let's talk a little bit about how you would market this program. So this is where most people get into a problem with because they don't understand that the first thing we have to do when we're creating a group program is we have to make sure that we're solving a problem or addressing a pain point that is that that pretty much is for everyone, right? The difference when you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can talk to that client, you know exactly what all of their pain points are, and you can address them because you're working with them individually. But when you're working with a group, what you have to do is look at what the majority of those individuals are dealing with problem-wise and solve that one major um, pain point for them, that one major problem, help them with that one major transformation. Okay, so when we do that, now we can focus on attracting leads, right? Now we can focus on doing our niche marketing, right? We can focus on making sure that we're putting out the right marketing message so we can attract our ideal clients. That's where our marketing campaigns become important because here's what most people do. A lot of coaches do this, unfortunately. When I ask them who is their ideal client, first thing they say to me, well, you know, I can, I can work with anybody. I'm like, no, you really can't work with anybody. I mean, you probably can. Well, over time, I mean, I've done coaching, consultant training for years, and I have worked with a lot of different businesses, backgrounds from doctors, gynecologists, down to a saxophonist who, who played music. So I have worked with a variety of clients over the years as a consultant. But realistically, when we're talking about marketing for a group program, you cannot. You can't be uh, a generalist, right? You have to be a, a very specific niche-focused coach. So think about if we are looking to bring clients into our group program, we and we want to solve that one problem. How how do we market to them? Well, the first thing we're doing is one, we're figuring out what is that that one universal problem that all of the clients who I am trying to attract, what are they facing? Okay. So let's just say that your marketing coach and the one issue that you're trying to um, help people overcome is how to get leads. Okay. Well, you can get leads a whole bunch of ways. You can get it uh, paid traffic. You can get it using Facebook groups. You can do Instagram. 
It's a whole bunch of ways you can get leads. But we want to find one very specific way. And, and I'll get into this in another show, but we, we want to do the thing that we are 100% best at. We, we don't want to try and just say, oh, okay, well, I think they can get leads from Instagram, but we don't even get leads from Instagram. We want to do the one thing that we can do with our eyes closed and our hands tied behind our back. Like we could do it if we were sleepwalking. That's the one thing that's really going to make you shine in your business. All right. So whatever that one thing is, as a marketing coach, that is the one thing that you offer. And then you look at the pain point. What are people not able to accomplish? Let's go back to Instagram. Okay, let's use that for an example. Let's say this marketing coach helps her clients get organic leads off of Instagram. She has an entire system that she puts people through and teaches them how to do it. What would be the pain point? I'm going to give you a couple. The first pain point could be, are you tired of being on social media, posting all day and not getting any results? Are you tired of paying for ads, paying thousands of dollars for ads and not getting any conversions? So we, we want to look for people who are already having these issues instead of trying to create a program around them. We want to find folks who are already dealing with this. Who wouldn't be dealing with if they're a marketer or they're a coach or um, whatever industry they're in, they're looking for leads, right? Every business needs clients. So think along these lines. It's going to be so much easier for you to promote your program and to attract your ideal clients if you can focus on helping them with that one major issue. I, I would say the easiest way to get in front of a lot of people and promote your program. And then from there, what you want to do is make sure, especially when you're just starting the group program, if you've never done this before, do not try and put a whole bunch of people in your program at one time. I would say the most that you want to do starting out is anywhere from five. And if you're a seasoned coach and you've got a lot of experience, then you can do as many as 25, right? The last group program we did, we brought 37 women in at one time. I think this program that we have rolling right now, we have about 20 for women in this program, and that number is continuing to rise. When it's time to scale, it's a few different ways that you want to do that. One, we're going to leverage all of the results that our clients got. So that's the first thing. If you got a group coaching program and you want to get more people into that group coaching program, then you use the results from the people who are in the group coaching program already, right? I know, simple, but a lot of people don't do that. I want to make sure that you use the information to highlight the success of the clients who are working with you, share the transformation that they had, where were they at before they came to you, and where are they at now. And that's how you are able to attract more clients. Now, this will allow you to scale. And depending upon what your goals are, you could very easily use this strategy, just a simple strategy, focusing on getting your clients' results, making sure they have amazing success in your program, using that information and attracting new clients to the program. I mean, are there some pieces in between missing? Yeah, I can't do it all in this session. But for the most part, that's really it. That is really it. And that's how you would start scaling that program by bringing new people into it. Some other ways that you could do it too could be doing referrals. If you have a lot of clients in your program, then you may want to set up some type of affiliate program. If you work with other coaches, you can also ask them if they would refer someone to you, you know, maybe you have someone like you have a mindset coach that you work with and, and maybe your thing is marketing. So you can refer someone over to her that needs mindset while you focus 100% on doing the marketing and she could send people back and forth. You guys can send people back and forth to each other. I know that's a lot of information. Let's talk a little bit about some success stories. I want to tell you that we have had coaches who have come into our program and within their first 30 days, and these were already established coaches, but they, within their first 30 days, 30 to 60 days, they were able to make over six figures. I had one coach who came in, started up a group coaching program, made $170,000 in her first two weeks. We had another coach who came in who started up her group coaching program and made a hundred, I think $120,000. So is that the average? No, it's not. But if you structure it the right way, it could be. Definitely could do that. The biggest thing that I think is really important for you to understand is that, of course, these financial goals 
that they achieved or, you know, making this amount of money in a six-figure launch is, is not typical, but it's possible. And I think the biggest thing is what they did that most coaches, I wouldn't say most coaches, but they were consistent with their action, right? They were consistent with their marketing. They were consistent with reaching out to people and sharing the program and doing, you know, videos. They, they were just consistent. And because of that, they got those results. So it's definitely possible for you to get similar results in your business, but you got to start from scratch. What are your intentions? What are your plans? And where is it that you want your program to end up long-term? Once you have that and you use these steps, it will be so easy for you to monetize your group coaching program and easily generate six figures a year, if not multiple six figures or even seven figures. The thing about Scaling your business is most people think, oh, I've got to have 50 programs in order to make seven figures. No, you really don't. You need to have an entry program that people come into, something that you can upsell them into after they grow out of that initial program. But for the most part, you can make seven figures easily with two programs. Even to be honest with you, you could do it with one high ticket program. So Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Hopefully this helps someone who's looking to start their own group coaching program and provides a little bit more clarity because most people think, oh, you can't really make any money in that. That's the lie. You definitely can make money. And then I think the biggest thing is not only can you make money, but you can have more of your time back. So I want to make sure that you guys use this information, implement this information, I appreciate you guys sitting here with me throughout this entire session and listening to me. This is my first one, and I'm super excited that I got through it without coughing or having to yell at my dog or anything like that. So next session, we're going to talk about attracting your ideal coaching clients. I'm going to give you some strategies for finding the perfect fit for people who are going to fall in love with you and want to hire you immediately to be their coach. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next session. Hey, are you ready to get started building your own seven-figure coaching empire and want to learn how you can skip the initiation phase? Well, since you're one of my listeners, I'm going to hook you up. Listen, I'm going to remove the veil and share what it takes to start generating 10K or more per month as a coach, even if you're brand new. I'm going to give you VIP access to my brand new five-day training system that will show you how to build, brand, and launch your own group coaching business, while also showing you how to generate your first 10K. Now, you may be wondering, what can I possibly learn in just five days? Well, the answer is, trust me, a whole lot. We're going to dive deep. I'm not holding nothing back. And you'll get daily lessons, inspiration, and even some homework too. I want you to walk away with a plan to profit and profit big time. So are you ready? Well, I hope so, because it's about to go down. Just head over to www.5daycoachingchallenge.com 